Athletes and fans around the world, it is time for another Primetime Muscle. Welcome to the show. I'm Tim Wilkins. As always, joined by the real deal. Real deal, baby. How you guys doing? I missed you guys. Chris Cormier, uh, looking casual, but somehow very, very upscale, my friend. Oh, you know, I know how to do it. We know you know how to do it. It's a lesson we'll give you on another yeah. show. Uh, Tarek, uh, I know you've got uh, other, you're working around the world. Thank you for taking a break. Uh, what's going on? Doing great. Um, Don't been judging me. shows all over the world, Asia, Europe, South America, Mexico. Mexico was great. I've always had a, a great time. Congratulations um, to my friend, um, uh, Gabriel Velasco, to uh, uh, Maria, to uh, m and Productions. They do a great job in Mexico. This so is the Tijuana show. There's the Tijuana show. There's the Mexico City show. There's shows all over uh, Mexico. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an a, a announcement in Spanish here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Nico, can I make an announcement in Spanish? Absolutely. <clears throat> Hola, atletas. <clears throat> Efas de fisiculturismo mexicano. Por favor, tenemos que entrar a la NPC, la Nacional Physique de Asociación, donde usted puede competir al Mister Olimpia. Tenemos muchas competencias en México como Extreme Pro en Tijuana y la Gran Battle en México, en la Ciudad de México. Yo miro todos ustedes al palco. Ah, muy bien, mijo. Muy bien. ¡Viva México! Una ¡Viva México! Una pregunta. How did the NPC become Nacional Fisico Asociación Asocio, 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 Committee became Asociación? Because there's no word as committee to translate in Spanish. So it's the NPA in Spanish. Committee. Yeah. So you just association or federation, something that they can identify. That was nice. That was nice on the fly. Don't underestimate me, okay? yeah. Just because you work a lot with Chris Cormier doesn't mean everybody has low IQ. <laughs> wow. wow. No need for the shots fired. Wow. I'm just jealous. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> wow. I apologize. I'm just jealous he's wearing a $900 shirt. <laughs> and, I sh and I shop at Ross Dress for less. Well, you know. I'm just jealous. Although, you know, it's hard to be me. I do take on the challenge every day to come here and make my way as you guys pamper me and make it all easy for me. You pick me up, you drop me off, you do everything special for me. I really appreciate you guys. Now, the sunglasses, where are they from? Oh, uh, these are my Versace's. And the shirt is Louis. Yeah, I'm The sorry. watch is Cartier. What about <laughs> the resistance chains? What about the shoes? The, what are the shoes today? Louis Vuitton. The Louis shoes. And the belt. Louis Vuitton. Wow. But I, I messed it up a little bit by wearing the Versace glasses. I get it. Okay. Don't I worry. don't know how you can combo these things. I don't, I don't know how any of this works. But, you know, that don't take away from my sponsor, Doc Sport. Shout out to Doc Sport, baby. Yeah. Wolves. Well, you and I both in our... Worldwide Wolves. He's in the LVs. We're in the RDLs, the Ross Dress for Less. Uh, yeah. Burlington... <laughs> Ross dress for less. <laughs> and when I get feisty, I go to Nordstrom. <laughs> so, America, my resentment for Chris is because he's, uh, he's got a lot more paper than I do. That's, that's the bottom line. <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, guys, uh, there are some, some great things. Uh, we're going to talk about some fitness today. Uh, by far one of my favorite categories for the last few years, uh, probably since oh, the early 2000s when it really took off, back in the uh, Monica Brandt, Jen Hendershot, Adela uh. Days. Uh, the Jenny Worth, there was some great rivalries back then, but we've got some great rivalries now. I've always been blown away though, not only do they become come in supremely conditioned, in a time that we'd be backstage laying on our backs with our legs elevated, you know, eating rice cakes and trying to avoid the world, they have to go out and do these high-flying routines and try to stay healthy. And we saw last year at the Olympia, uh, just un unbelievable amount of injuries from our top competitors. Well, Tim, you know, obviously we're talking about Truscott, right? Truscott uh, did a great job in the two-piece, and then she goes to her routine, which a lot of people believed that if she had concluded her routine, she would have been a champion uh, of that Mr. Olympia. And unfortunately, she gets hurt. It's tragic. I got to tell you, as an Olympia judge, there's nothing worse for us. It just takes the breath out of us. 
our hearts stop. And Truscott is a warrior. I send messages to her. She's on her way to recover, and she could win many more titles. But <clears throat> one thing the people that compete in bodybuilding a lot of times don't understand is the most resistant, resilient people in bodybuilding are the fitness competitors. Now, I often make this analogy. If there was a airplane crash with all the bodybuilding competitors of the Mr. Olympia, and everybody landed in Amazon, and some people needed to survive in Amazon, it would be the fitness competitors. They would grow on the trees, they would stretch, <laughs> they would jump, they would swim, they would do everything. The bodybuilders would die of hunger, the men's physique guys could not handle the heat. The classic physique guys would run out of protein. There's no mirrors. The bikini girls, the bikini girls would dehydrate. The wellness girls could not go up the trees and run away from the too from the jaguars. Too bottom heavy. Okay, the jaguars. I mean, the figure girls would not be able to outrun the anacondas. The fitness girls would survive. They would survive and they would be the, the dominant um, category because they are the superheroes. Although I would get that dark meat on some of these, these uh, wellness girls. That dark meat would be- The thigh, the leg yeah, of thigh? I'd go for that leg of thigh. If we had to go cannibal? If we had to go cannibal, I'd, I'd, I'd be right there. You're eating wellness first. Yeah, I'd be like getting them over here. Come here, wellness girl. We got a squat rack over here for you. And then trap them. <laughs> It's a glue. It's a glue bridge. <laughs> yeah, glue bridge, and a right? Glue here. bridge with a big cage that comes over the top yeah. of it. They are the fitness competitors. Are the superheroes of our sport. They do stuff that none of us can even imagine doing. They get hurt and they continue to compete. Well, Oksana had the neck injury for a long time. Uh, did she not? She had. Uh, she, she was injured for a while. Well, you know, and then. Uh, but the thing is, even leading up to competitions, they're getting injured as they leading up to a competition. Because they have to practice those routines over and over. Oh man, that's got to be. They don't tough. even share the fact that they have injuries. It's part no. of their job. Yeah, you're supposed you know, to not talk about it. You know, they go into check-ins. They're all broken down. It's like a football player. You won't player. even notice because they they're not going to tell you. You talk to Whitney Jones. You talk to Missy Truscott. They don't care that their shoulder is dislocated, that their calf is torn. They don't care. They just go on stage and perform. So I've already made this mistake with uh, Ashley Kaltwasser, so I'm not going to do it again. Derek, how old is Whitney? I think Whitney is about 28, 29. Nice try. So, uh, but she's uh, she's definitely. I ain't messing with a superhero. I'll tell up. you that right now. <laughs> she's got a 17 year old kid, so I'm uh, I'm guessing she's at least uh, 17. Seven, 17. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Chris. Listen, I know I know Whitney Jones very well. She's a Leo. And that woman <laughs> she can go on stage <laughs> under any circumstances. Man, when she was had that shoulder hanging. That was just like almost. That was grisly. Uh, that was um, that was just like the the. I don't know. I, I just I can't even imagine how much pain that is because I know that shoulder is really bad. And, and the the the, the mandatories are, you know, during the routine, the mandatories are not very demanding on them. They can do the sidekick, the straddle hold. They can the do push uh, up. the push up. They can do all the mandatory. That's a mandatory? Yeah, four mandatories. But it's what they do that is incredibly challenging and amazing that other competitors cannot do. So here's the question, and, and I see this not just at the NPC ranks, but on the level between normal pro fitness and elite pro fitness. You've got a, a wide range of abilities, skills, how high they can push up off the ground and fly, the high intensity, you've got the Jacqueline Bakers that have that artistic flow. Outside of the mandatories, how is fitness judged? So first, the first thing I tell every fitness competitor is continuity. Continuity. If I feel that your routine got broken down because of lack of balance, because there was execution. some execution mistake, Hey, you can do an incredible, amazing jump. It's just like the Olympics, right? But if I feel, the, you know, there's a lack of balance or anything, 
you're gonna get marked down for the lack of continuity because that was not part of your presentation. That is an error, right? So that's the first thing. From beginning to the end, you might pause like Jacqueline Baker. She's artistic. She has a little bit more of a romantic presentation. But if I feel like the routine got out of the, 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 what was scheduled to happen, I mark them down. I go, she's off balance on this jump here. I noticed something. Some of them are just perfect from the beginning to the end. And then there's that wow factor. You can go there and do your push-ups. You can do all your mandatories and you can do something that's fun. And, and, but did you wow me? Did you do something that I've never seen before? Were you the Joker, like Oksana? Or Ariel Kadar as the as Terminator. As the uh, Terminator, you know? I mean, Jacqueline Baker, she didn't have a crazy character, but a few years ago she played second at the Olympia, and her posing routine was beautiful, it was romantic. Taylor Learmont, right? Did you wow me? And a lot of times the girls that are playing seeing fifth, sixth, seventh place, they're doing a nice routine. They're doing all the mandatories. Sometimes their continuity is perfect. But there are no the wow top factors. dogs, the Taylor Learmonts, the Whitney Jones, the Missy Truscotts, that you sit there Trescott, and they go, I'm not gonna do a nice routine, I'm gonna freak you out. Truscott with the big wings coming out with the, with the mountain dog routine. Oh, that was nice. That one, that one, that one leaves a mark. Yeah, and you know. to do a John Meadows tribute that year yeah. was huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, a lot of them, uh, some of the divisions have rivalries and some just don't. Uh, some are just so far and ahead of everybody. We've got two that have been duking it out for years and we're gonna talk about them when we come back right after this. And then we just talked about uh, what warriors the fitness competitors are. There are two in particular at the top of the food chain for the last few years. When you talk about warriors, you, you need a war for there to be warriors. And these two have been going at it. Missy Trescott and Whitney Jones. Trescott. Do not bet against her. You the, ate your words last time. The pit bull. Do not, do not just, bet against Missy I'm Trescott. I'm not <laughs> I'm, tr I'm, I'm saying this as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> we need the show I to do. continue. I wish we had I'm a video. I'm just telling you, do not bet against Missy Truscott. You already got yourself in trouble. I wish we had a video at the Olympia. She comes off stage. Uh-huh. Now what? Now what? And I was just like, I, I actually, I knew he was going to win it. You know, I know he was going to do great. I told you about she her. She came right up to me. I was like, oh no. She grabbed me at the expo, <laughs> spun me around, and the day after she'd already told you that, she says, you know what, I'm not done yet. Tell Chris to suck it. <laughs> Tell Chris to suck it. Come on, miss. Oh, uh, miss. Come well, on now. These two have been going at it for a while. Injuries aside, they, they just, when it's time to go to work, and I talked to Missy, she was guest posing for, uh, I was up in Minnesota doing the show for uh, Tom and Kathy Kemper, and she was guest posing, and it was beautiful, and I said, uh, uh, and I love this from a competitor, we talk about this all the time, who's your big rival? Who, who do you think is, uh, who you have to contend with at the Olympia? She looked at me, she said, nobody, there's nobody, I got this, and no I like it. No rivalry. No rivalry, she said, I got, it's mine. Wow. I like it. Wow, I mean, the physique, I mean, if you start with the physique uh, with uh, Missy, you, I mean, I feel like she can do multiple categories. She can be in the figure, she can be shit. If she really put it down, she could probably do it in physique, you know? But it's like, uh, she's, she's enjoyed the training. Uh, I love her attitude about it, about the whole thing, about the, being a competitor and being very competitive and uh, yeah, man, you can hardly ever want to not think she's going to prevail. Uh, the hard work she puts in, 
I see, you know, little clips of her doing her training, not only in the gym, but also, you know, for the, the uh, fitness uh, part of it. But, you know, I just can't help uh, to think, you know, like how explosive she is on uh, when she does her routines and everything. I mean, she's going to be a, a tough draw for any, in any show she ever does. So, I mean, that's what I got to say. Talk about the rivalry, Derek, between these two pros. Um, Whitney Jones has won three titles. Missy Truscott has won two titles. Prejudging Missy Truscott wins unanimously, right? She had five points, lowest score. So she dominated the two piece. Basically, all she had to do was to finish her routine and she would have won her third title and equal Whitney Jones. Yeah, there is a rivalry. Of course there's a rivalry. They're, they have flip-flopped titles. So you want to beat the person that beat you the previous year and regain your title. That has happened to both of them. Um, we did Olympia Battle, and it was great. People loved it. We did it at the um, Wings of Strange show here. Um, and then uh, Whitney Jones brought on stage a shark, right? Um, to symbolize, hey, oh, you are my rival, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. And I, th I, I didn't see any issues with that. I thought, man, this is what makes the sport grow, rivalries. I've asked Jay Cutler, who knows bodybuilding inside out, what do we have to do to make the bodybuilding as popular as the classic physique? And he said, rivalries, Tarek. Ronnie Coleman versus Jay Cutler. Kai Green versus Phil Heath. Whitney Jones versus Missy Truscott. So they need to embrace that for entertainment purposes and not take it personal. And I don't think they did. The only downside was that Missy got hurt, right? So... All the fans from Missy Truscott, they were extra, hurt, ex extra. and they felt like, oh man, Whitney Jones shouldn't have done this. But well, Whitney was calm down. Calm Whitney down. Was in a, you know, thinking back, even when I was trying to make a rivalry with uh, with the big nasty uh, Ronnie Coleman, I came out to I shot the sheriff. You know, that started my routine with I shot the sheriff because he was a cop at the time, and I was always going to poke at him in some kind of way. Uh, just and it's something that was on my mind getting ready for the show uh, And I'm sure you know these two are on each other's mind as they prepare probably on a daily basis And let's give an analogy here yeah. The NBA all-star game sucks The fans freaking hate it Okay, and, and and I'm talking to you, the commissioner of the NBA. Okay, stern. Put the put it's the, not stern anymore. It's the, silver. Silver. And Daniel I like silver. him very yeah. much. Um, commissioner of the put NBA, the Adam on him. Silver. You have an amazing product, which is the NBA, but your All Star Game sucks. Sucks. And the fans are telling you it sucks. Why does it suck? Because there's no competition. There's no rivalry. 1988, the All-Star Game took place in Chicago. And it was Michael Jordan against Magic Johnson. In the fourth quarter, Michael Jordan told his teammates, I'm not losing this effing thing at home. And they ended up winning and beating Magic Johnson. That's what makes sport entertaining, okay, Adam Silver? So you tell the <coughs> football players, the basketball players, whatever. In the Pro Bowl in the NFL. Don't have one. It's there. a disaster. Just don't have one. It's a there. disaster. <laughs> if there's no rivalry, if there's no competition, it's not sport. Here's one of the tough things, though, guys. You got uh, you got Oksana, who's got a couple titles every other year, diced up with these ladies. You've got uh, Jacqueline Baker. You've got Ariel lurking in the wings, winning the Arnold, then kind of chipping away at the Olympia. But there's so much support among the fitness competitors. They'll all meet up and help each other with routines. And do you think that takes away from that, that uh, gamesmanship, rivalry, bravado that you're wanting? Well, or do well, we need to manufacture think, like wrestling? I think Whitney Jones, Whitney Jones wants to beat Missy Truscott. Missy Truscott wants to beat Whitney Jones. But they've been around, so they're not gonna go at each other's throat. They're gonna be diplomatic. But at the press conference, Ariel Kadar said, I'm really happy to be here. 
with these great champions, Whitney Jones, Missy Truscott, Oksana, and then this girl, I don't even know who she is. Yes. And that happened to be <laughs> Taylor Learmont. <laughs> and Taylor Learmont said, you don't know who I am? She got off her chair and went in front of her and did an amazing move. <laughs> yeah. And it ended up that she beat Ariel Kadara at the Olympia. So what so I now, want to do is, you know me. because I like war, I like hostility, I'm bringing in Taylor Learmont, Ariel Kadar, and maybe somebody else for Olympia battle. Wow. So... Are they going to battle in the gym with the weights? No, no, Chris. If you didn't watch the last Olympia battle because you were somewhere smoking marijuana with Dorian Yates, oh, so, last so time we, gotta, we had Whitney <laughs> Jones and Missy Truscott and you're in the bath right houses here in, in, in on stage, Brazil. On stage. You're in the bathhouses in Brazil. Yeah, I didn't say I nothing about that. take a bath. That. No doubt about that. Houses. You should do that, too. Houses. You know, you should do that. There's no bathhouses <laughs> in Brazil. You can trust me that. Jesus That's an Asian God. thing that Nico tells us about it. Okay? They're, they're called bath favelas in Brazil. Yeah, there's bath yeah, favelas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go there. <laughs> they competed at the Iron Games, and they went on stage, and the fans voted. It was a okay. success. I'm going to do that again, and I'm inviting you, Chris, to come to Phoenix with Tim Wilkins Time out. so we can comment on that. Time out. The reason I said so, I'm thinking they do work out. They do need to work out. It's just less chance for injury because we don't want to injure anybody. Oh, God. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't have a segue. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right, in the last segment, we... Uh, Kind of started to talk about Taylor Lermont, who last year kind of blew everybody's mind. Uh, the press conference was kind of a coming out party for her when she jumped out from behind the, uh, the podiums there where everybody was sitting and, and, and showed us what she was going to be made of in the routines. We had Missy's uh, unfortunate mishap. The, well, that's a great name for it, the mishap. Uh, and, uh, and we had Whitney, thank you, Nico, and uh, <laughs> we had Whitney's uh, issue, and, and then everybody kind of just rose up to the occasion, but Taylor blew everybody's mind in her Olympia debut. Oh, man. She was second place, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like uh, Flex Wheeler, uh, Kevin LeBron going for their first Olympia, taking the second place. That's like so amazing for her to do that. And I feel like if she was physically ready, if she had the, the time in the gym to physically get there, she possibly would have won the Olympia. Oh, I, I think so. I think if her physical makeup would have been, you know, up to par with the other girls, I mean, because she was the only one that was like so tiny. But uh, the routine is amazing, uh, execution amazing. Uh, she had wow, she had pizzazz, she has a ton of followers on Instagram. Um, I follow her too. You might want to follow me back, Taylor, if you uh, if you hear this. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's oh, me. Oh man! Underscore Chris Cormier. <laughs> oh man, that no, was brutal. No, we promise. <laughs> that was brutal. Don't feel bad. She didn't follow she me might. back. She might. No, if she doesn't, I'm going to show you. No, I like her even more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Derek, she uh, has no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're just another black bald guy oh, from the yeah, past. Man, <laughs> from She's the like Man. Sean Ray, Chris Cormier, <laughs> Taylor, Vince Taylor. <laughs> so, where was she after the uh, physique round? She was behind, man. She was. Uh, I think she scored. Um, she scored very high. She was on the second call out. She doesn't have the muscularity. She needs more conditioning. She's not one of the prime competitors in the physique round. However, on the routine, she's out of this planet, okay? Yeah. She is out of this planet. She is incredible, amazing, unbelievable. She might be the greatest routine fitness competitor Ooh. in the history. Ooh. She might be better. I'm, I'm, listen, 
okay? There's a reason why she follows me because I don't have the fear in the heart that you have. She might be better, Taylor Learmont might be better than every person that I've ever seen doing a routine. That's how good her routine is. She does stuff on stage mm. that looks incredible. I judged her at the Legion Sports Festival. I put him in first place so she could go to the Olympia. And obviously, I was right. Thank you, Sherrick. She places second at the Olympia. If she improves the two-piece, we could be talking about a major dynasty. Her only thing that she needs to be cautious is injuries and continue not to follow Chris Cormier. So, Ter I got Chris, I got I got to jump in here cuz I don't often get to use my agent experience yeah. like you do with having been there and done that. Right, right. So, Youngblood, there was a uh, competitor Youngblood. that uh, that had a couple of those uh, big round Olympia medals that say winner. Yeah. Uh, by the name of Jen Hendershot. Yes. Who was not only incredibly physical and high flying and powerful in her routines and artistic but brought a controversy and a theme to almost every routine. At one of the routines, she actually did uh, Madonna's uh, Like a Virgin and the prayer and had two girls come out and kiss her like Madonna did in oh. the, in the uh, MTV Video Awards. Okay, okay. She brought every facet of wow to those routines and had the physicality to win the, back then, the one piece and the two piece. There was a one piece full body suit round as well. Oh yeah. Tim Wilkins. He had to go old school, thank you. <laughs> Tim Wilkins. He knocked it out the park. Hender's shot was incredible. So was Adela Garcia. And some routines are epic, we'll never forget, right? Missy Truscott with the shark. Whitney Jones, the, those flying kicks. I mean, those pictures are incredible. Ariel Kadar. The thing that makes this competitor, Taylor Learmont, different than everybody we have ever seen is the flexibility combined with the balance. Once she goes on stage and she starts moving her body, you see a level of, of equilibrium, of balance that we've -like. never seen. Cat-like, right? We're talking as close to an Olympic gymnast in the US team and she did competitive in Canada I think she was at some point at the Canadian gymnastic team so we are seeing somebody that her background is not cheerleading her background is not it's we're talking about Olympic meddling competitors coming to the Olympia stage and displaying something that's her balance. So here's a big question for both you guys. And you know, we love to throw out the hypotheticals. We're, we're just about the facts, but we can we can speculate with the best of them. She's a solid and she's she's what five foot, five one maybe? She's five, she's little. So adding ten <laughs> pounds of muscle on she's that little. frame is a lot. Is that all does she, she needs at least ten pounds to start getting up in the physique round. It, do you think that's gonna inhibit do either of you think that's going to inhibit no. her balance, flexibility, mobility, no. equilibrium? I don't think so. I think she's going to improve her explosiveness, and I think she'll always keep uh, what she has. I think she'll be stretching, uh, probably be you know before and after the workout or whatever. But I feel like you know it's going to be a matter of time to where she improves her physique. Uh, Exana did it. You know she improved her physique. You know she she got the win or whatever, but. This girl is right there to do whatever she wants to do with this sport. I think she's going to be definitely the future for sure. She is the future. She Sheriff. was in 12th place. Uh, she was tight in 12th place after the two-piece. So she's out of the top 10 on the two-piece. Good. I think the major issue is not muscularity, it's conditioning. If she squeezes the condition, she's going to be tiny but with nice lines and nice conditioning. Now, I'm going to tell you I'm this. I'm the, the development there also. No, she does need that, but <laughs> I, I'm going to agree with Tim Wilkins on this. I, I think that the more muscle you have, the less flexibility you might encounter in some of your routines. You know, I mean, uh, and Nick Walker is not going to be doing a split. Andrew Jack. Okay. Andrew Jack is an exception. But Brianna Ansley. Okay, Brianna Ansley. 
Are you going to mention every guy that has done a split in bodybuilding to Wait, counter we're that we're point? Like, okay, we're okay, okay we'll just sit here and have you <laughs> <laughs> every fucking freaking guy that did a split. Okay, that has so I can mention 99% of guys that didn't. Jay Cutler didn't. Ronnie Coleman didn't. And Ronnie Coleman, Coleman did. Didn't. Ronnie, Coleman. Ronnie Coleman did. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Taylor, would you? Okay, I think if she gains a lot of muscle, she might lose some of that incredible balance. That's her competitive advantage. So I agree with Tim. We can improve a little bit of the physique, but do not touch that routine. That's your, your money maker. Here's the tough spot because we talk about conditioning, but you can't condition muscle that's not there. That's you get I leaner. The I tried to tell him. She has now, a little bit of muscle there, okay? She has uh, muscle there. Bikino. First time winner, uh, uh, first time Olympian, uh, Amber Steffen last year won the uh, Alenda Murray in July. That's again this July in uh, Atlanta. Awesome show. Um, tiny. A very energetic, amazing, high-flying routines. Her pictures from the Olympia were, if there's a great memory to have, it's those pictures. Um, but needed more bulk because she came in really conditioned, but it made her look even smaller. Her, her routines were amazing. I think if you have the score sheets, where was Amber on that uh, placed in the physique round? Sixth or seventh, eighth, where was she? Amber was, she was tight with Learmont in 12th place. All right. Well, Now look at this, Missy Truscott is first place with five votes. Second was Jody Bohm from Canada with 10. I mean, we know the opposing round is one third of the scoring. The routine is two thirds. So this is important points, but the routine is vital. Missy Truscott, she is fantastic on the routine. So it would be very challenging for somebody, even like Taylor or Oksana, to overtake uh, Missy Truscott in the show. Truscott is the most well-rounded competitor in physique for me, as far as physique, uh, presentation, uh, routine, and everything. I think she's the most. You're, you're correct about that one. And then, you're uh, usually but wrong, I think she, but now you're right. But I think if Taylor just, she could take it slowly with the physique stuff, don't put too much emphasis on it, and just, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna nail it. Well, uh, um, one of these days. I, I would agree with Chris. I do believe uh, Taylor is a big part of the future, if not the future. That physique round comes up. It's gonna be hard to beat her. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing how Missy continues to recover. She's fighting back. We're loving those videos, Missy, of you training through that injury. Oh yeah. Uh, we have so much, so much great fitness left to qualify for this year's Olympia. To see what pros are gonna be there to duke it out. Guys, it flies by. Chris, so much time, and I love talking about the all the divisions. This is one of the only shows that. Does oh yeah, it. oh yeah, we bring in all the divisions. That's all the time. why we're the most respected bodybuilding channel. It's easy to talk about Derek Lunsford update at the gym. Any fool can do that. But in order to be the most respected channel in bodybuilding, you must cover all the divisions in the Mr. Olympia, and that's why we are the best of the and best. And we want to. And that's why we're talking we about want Derek's, you. Derek's update picture next. If you guys show. have any comments to share, you guys, anything you want us to cover, let us know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, as always, to Olympia TV to get all the great content, especially the Olympia battles coming up this year, the fitness battle coming up uh, later in the year, uh, the big dogs, Samson, Nick Walker, Derek Lunsford duking it out. Woo! And go back and watch yeah. those other videos, like this year when we brought in uh, Chris Bumstead, Ramon Dino, Wesley Vizzers, and Urs Kalachinsky. Always great. Chris Cormier, the real deal. Tarek El Gindi. Did you just call me the real deal? No, no, I'm the real deal. He's the real deal, but you are. He'll never call you the real deal. You're the real Tarek. I like your, your tie, though, today. A little wrinkle. Tim Wilkins, here. as always, we'll see you on the next Primetime Muscle.